Okay, I hope you're settled down after your Mother's Day luncheon. I had a terrific lunch at Carrabba's. If you have a Carrabba's in your town, give it a try. Their food is excellent. So after the uh, lunch, we went to a movie. We went to see Unsung. I don't know quite how to describe it. You just have to see it for yourself and decide if it's your kind of movie. The music was good, but it wasn't exactly what I expected to see, but that's okay. That, you know, sometimes that can ruin the movie is because you're expecting one thing and get another. Now, I'm not going to say that happened. So, if you're planning to see the movie, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Now, Mother's Day, we've got another year to go. So, start planning for it. I promise to show you some jewelry. Now, what you see on this table is a sample of the jewelry that Jan and I have collected and of the jewelry that I have worked with making shadow boxes, uh, Christmas trees, all sorts of Christmas decorations. I put on black today. I said black is what it's going to take to show off jewelry. But first I want to tell you a little story. This has to do with jewelry but it dates back I'm going to guess it dates back to about the 1970s. And I'm going to tell you about a neighbor I used to have. Her name was Bernice. Bernice lived a few floors below me. She had two daughters. And one is lives somewhere else. And the other one, I believe, was a nurse. At the time, Bernice was about 90 years old. And she was such a fun person. She, she was just jolly all the time. And she didn't get to go places. She couldn't drive. She had to depend on someone else. But she was so enjoyable to be around. So every few days I would go down and this is how it would go. I'd knock on the door and I'd hear, come on in. I'd open the door and I'd say, Bernice, you're going to have to cut that out. You know, you don't know who's behind that door. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Come on in, kid. She called me kid all the time, kid. It made me feel good. It really made me feel like a kid in comparison to her. And she treated me like I was much younger. Now, Bernice liked to tell me story about, stories about her past. Uh, I don't know exactly where to start. She had been married before. I don't, I can't even tell you what her last name was because I never could pronounce it. She was married to an Italian. And to hear her tell it, he was part of the mafia. And she'd kind of put her hand over her mouth, don't let anybody hear me say that. But I think he was part of the mafia where she could start telling me stories about her ex-husband. And she'd laugh, and of course she made me laugh too. But the one thing Bernice did each time I came, now this was every time I went to visit her, she had an eight by 10 picture setting up on a chest. And she goes into the story about when she was a sergeant in the United States Army in World War II. And this was a picture of her in her uniform. So every time I got to look at the picture and I got to hear her explain about being a sergeant 
in the uh, United States Army. Well, she would tell a little story and just hold her head back and just die laughing. And then she told me about being a school teacher after she finished with the Army. And she lived in the Bronx in New York. Well, you know, back in the early 70s, the stories we would hear about the Bronx and kind of reminded me of West Side Story when she would talk about the students. People were kind of afraid to be out on the streets, but she never was. She said her students liked her. And I think they liked her because she was not afraid of them. She would do no harm to him, them. They would do no harm to her. And she could be so funny with her stories. Every now and then she wanted to give me something, some little something she's had for years. And what I'm going to show you now are some of the things she gave me they may not appeal to you, but in the early 1970s, these were very popular. I hope you can see. I want to get my glasses because I can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's use the black glasses that match my black outfit. You know, I look good in black. In fact, everybody looks good in black. And I love the necklace I'm wearing. But let's get back to Bernice. What I'm gonna show you are a few pieces of her old, I don't even call it jewelry but this is what they wore in those early days. I didn't really want it, but I really couldn't say no to her because she was so pleased that I would take her gift. Now you'll remember some of this stuff. These are made of wood, I think. Can you see this big, heavy wooden? Look at these little pieces of wood. They'd been sanded down, the wooden rings. Now, if I didn't have this white necklace on, you could get a better look at what it looked like. Well, that wasn't very smart, was it? Okay, I'll hold it back with my chin. But can you see the necklace? It was very popular back in the early 70s. And I'm just showing these because I'm keeping them in memory of Bernice. She was such a, such a delightful person. Here's one that's been broken, but you see the wooden carved out. It looked like an eagle with its wings spread and their wooden beads. I've got them tied so that they don't fall off. See these square wooden beads and then you've got the red and black beads. I want you to be able to see that. If you can zoom your picture, try that and see if you can get a better look. Now we're gonna go to the third piece. Look at these beads. These are big, they're heavy. They didn't mind wearing the heavy beads back then, but they used to bother me, but look at how how pretty these red beads are. Great big red ones. And I think they're painted. They're painted wooden beads. Let me hold it over here. This might help a little. A little. But it gives you an idea of what I'm trying to show you. Let's see. There are a couple more. Here's one that's been broken too. And these look like they are nut shells that have been sanded down. Here we let's hang it up the right way, like this. 
But can you see that? If we can see it over here. Got the little star shape design. Oh, you can't see it. I've got my dish in the way. But anyway, you get the idea of what I'm trying to show you. These were the styles of the day. Uh, here's another one. It's also a carved cross. Do you remember these things? I bet some of you wore these. And they're nice, they really are. They may come back in style someday. I'm just put them, putting them over here to one side in a tray. So they don't fall off the table. One other thing she gave me, and I like this. I decided it was a belt. Had all these little ropes. And I look, pulled them all out because I've got it knotted on one side. I said, this would go. I could see it today being worn with low slung jeans. And you take a look at it too. I like it. It looks like the mother of pearl. Got a little bad spot. Mother of pearl. They look like leaves. Now, you picture this around a young girl's hips as a belt. And you'll have to admit that'd be quite chic, wouldn't it? I think I would like it. But of course, I'm not the young girl with the teenage look and the hips to hold it up. But somewhere there is one that's going to say, I'd like to have that belt because it really would look nice. Now, I just wanted to show you those things because of my friend Bernice. Bernice was 93 years old when she died. She is buried at Nelf Camp Nelson National Cemetery, not very far from here. It's a military cemetery. And I, time after time, I've wanted to drive down and see where Bernice was honored. She was such a sweet lady. So that I just wanted to show you. Okay, let's get back to jewelry. Here's another one. Now this is just some of our jewelry. And you know, I thought, how am I going to display this stuff so my viewers can see it and see it well and enjoy piece by piece? And I thought, hmm, I've got all that Fostoria sitting over there in front of the window, those big bowls. I'll just fill all those bowls up with the jewelry that's exactly what I've done. Now you see how this looks on my black blouse. We'll sample a few pieces before I go around the table. Eh, this is not easy to do. You know how these hooks are around your neck. Sometimes you can get them on and off. Sometimes you can't. And sometimes you can complain a lot about it. It doesn't do any good till you get it off. Now, what have I done? I may be sleeping in this stuff tonight. I can feel it, but I can't see it. Let me pull it on around here. It's not hard to take off if you can just get your hands on it right. Y'all just be patient now. I've had a busy day. There we go, I see it now. Cross my eyes, I can see. There we go. You probably had one of these, or your mother had one, or maybe it was your grandmother. I'm gonna lay it right around. This, these are chargers on the table that are holding the bowls, 
and there's a lot of jewelry around the trays. Let's, I've got this one little stand. I gave away all of my heads and, and uh, jewelry stands and happened to have one left. And this looked right nice on it. So I think if I hold it like this, you can get a good look at how pretty that looks on black. It's not a real old one, but it's old enough to start calling it vintage. Now here's one that just blows my mind. Gotta get the hook again. I'm gonna put it on. If I can. I have the awful time putting necklaces on. Let me try again. This usually takes three tries every time I put on a necklace. You got patience to wait for me? Well, we'll go around this way if we have to. Yeah, this is fun, isn't it? I've got those nimble fingers that won't do anything. I may end up throwing them across the room. Yeah, that's gonna be the best side of all, is watching me throw these across the room. wouldn't hook. Y'all don't have time for this. Well, I'm not going to fool with it. Here we go. I'm just going to put it around my neck. Can you see it? These are very dark, multicolor beads. They're large, but they do make a beautiful accessory. And I wish I had the lights on it so that you could see how they glow. In with these are a few Aurora Borealis. We've been hearing about the Borealis lately, you know. Jan got some beautiful pictures out on her farm of the lights and she out there every night at midnight watching for them again. But you can see the blue in the, those are the Borealis beads. So there's another necklace. Here's a bowl. I'll show you a few of these. I'm showing you these because these are ones I made when I was making jewelry. I made so much jewelry and I just reached a point I was tired of it. I can do something, a craft job, so long, and after so long, that's it. I don't want to do it anymore. I've got to go to something new. That's why I've done so many different crafts over years and years is because I don't want to do that anymore. I want to start a new project. Now, I hope this will show up. I'm having the same trouble again. My hand won't work. Well, I'm not gonna fool with it. I'm gonna take this one off. I'm gonna put this right on here. This is way we'll take care of this project. These hooks are so, so small. You just won't catch. Have y'all ever seen such a thing as this? Me fooling around with this and can't get anything to work. You know how aggravated you can get, don't you? That's when you start throwing things across the room. I've been known to do that too. Folks, we may not even finish this one.
Can you see this necklace? See these beautiful sparkly bead with a silver in between. This is one of the necklaces I made that I really, really like. Let's see what else I've got in here. Oh, this is a big, long, beaded one. This takes a lot of time when you make these strand after strand with seed beads. Now here's another one. It's also silver and it's also got the red sparkly beads. Do you see it? Can you tell what it looks like? Okay, there's one more. Here are your Borealis beads, the nice red ones. It's a, it's a short strand, but I think you can see it well enough. But I love those Borealis beads. You know, the, the, it's a coating, a shiny coating that's been added to these beads. And that's what makes them have the changeable colors. One more. I also made this one. Let's see if I can find the ends of it. Here we go. I really like this. Somewhere I've made earrings to match. Tell me you like it. Can you get a good look at it? Can you see that? Look at it closely. That makes a rather elegant piece of jewelry. And I'm gonna just drop these right back down in the bowl they came in. So you can get those taken care of. So you just stay in the tray. I'm going to pull this aside. And here, here's one of my favorites. Here's one pink necklace. This is just gorgeous. Let's see if I can get it on here. Pull it forward. Take another look. Zoom your picture in so that you can get a really good look. Because this is a beautiful piece of jewelry. I don't know how old it is. I don't know where it came from. But it came in a, a grouping of jewelry that Jan had. The pinks are so pretty. Now you can look at this around my neck and I hope. If I miss on this one, I may throw it at you. Take a look at this. You ever seen anything any prettier? Well, I can show you a few pieces. Take a look at this. This one has been broken. And I'm showing you the two strands where there used to be three strands that need to be repaired or new hooks put on the end. And that way you can wear it as a double strand. So I'm going to put this around here so that you can see it. Get a very good look at it. I don't know why we have to fool with things that are a problem. But this one's not as bad. I got it on there straight. Okay.
Isn't that pretty? I'll move this a little closer too so that you get a good look at the pink on black. Makes you want to dress up and go somewhere. Let's do this one. I have worn this one. Wore it on pink. sleeping in it to hide. Ah, oh, there we go. But see, this little dish is full of pretty pink, pink beads. And I love to play with them. I'm going to pull it right back into the bowl where I took it from. Lay it right back in there. Put this necklace right back in there with it. And this one's totally different shade of pink, but it's a beautiful piece. Now I hope you got a good look at that. That's the pink. Pearls. Every woman should have pearls. I showed you this one, didn't I? The pearls. Okay. Look at these. What was that? Nice big pair of pearl ear bobs like your mother used to wear. Okay, back to the dish you go. And there are more pearls here. Lots of these. Look at these. Some have a little rhinestone beads in between. Look at this. I love this necklace. This is another one I made. These are the prettiest shade blue. Don't show up too well on the uh, black because you cannot see the blue, large blue beads too well. I'm going to aim them toward the light and hope you can see the ones right down in the center are larger beads and they're different kind of beads. But I, I just love those and I never have anything to wear blue with. But all right, this one's going to throw you for a loop. Jan had this brooch. I have to put it around the neck. And we found a long strand of blue rhinestone, cobalt blue rhinestone. I'm going to put it around the neck here and let you see what this looks like on this black velvet. Can you see it? Now, don't you know that you would get plenty of attention if you were wearing that? So we took the rhinestone beads and we took the brooch and we glued them together and this is what we came up with. And I think it's gorgeous. So here go my pearls back in the bowl. Folks, actually this is fun. You think I've worked hard on this? I did work hard on it, but when you like what you're doing, it's not work. A little bowl, this is my pastoral bowl now. This is my brass. See my brass necklaces? I've got two big long ones. Well, this is just a bracelet, but it matches. Just, I didn't buy them together, but you can see how pretty that bracelet is. Now let me show you 
couple of necklaces here. Ah, here we go. And we'll take the blue one back off. Put it back over in the pearls. And we're going to attach my brass necklaces. Now this, I know how old it is. I bought it about 1965. I was going to work, got me a job. I needed some clothes. I needed some jewelry. And in those days, I could wear the size seven and nine and I wore some pretty black wool pearl neck dresses. And this is the kind of jewelry I wore when I went to work each day. That's one necklace. Let's take that one off. And let's try for the other one. Okay, here we go. This is heavy. See if I can get my hand on it right. I wore this a lot. Get it on straight. I also wore this with my black wool dress. See what nice brass necklace that was. I really liked wearing this. It was very attractive. So, give a good look. I hope you're enjoying seeing this jewelry. It's the kind of jewelry probably never be worn again. But it holds a few memories. This is one I made in the clear glass. Has the gold look to it. And the other brass necklace and here's a little bracelet now I'm not showing you any bracelets and I'm not showing you any earrings just don't have room for them that's something we can do at another time so I'm going to move this back over to one side you move the pink one back over I may have to come around the table I'm going to get all of Bernice's jewelry back over here to one side. I'll put them back in the shoebox where I had them. Now let's see what happens. This is just a little mixture of more beads. There's nothing really outstanding except I just love the jewelry. Now let me show you this. Oh, take a look. How do you like that? Let me put it on. Let's put that around the neck. Wouldn't you like to go out dancing in that? I really hope you can see these pieces as well as I want you to so that you can appreciate the beauty and the work, the workmanship that goes into this kind of jewelry. There's a lot of black. Now this is a bracelet but you can see the rhinestones and the shimmery black beads. There are a lot of these in this one bowl. Take a look at this. This is just part of the necklace. See if I, can you see it on the necklace? I'll put this back over here. See how pretty that is. Those are nice beads. And they also have the earring 
the earrings were this long. I can't wear earrings like that. But for the ladies with the long neck, they can. I'm going to get up now and go around the table and show you some more things. And if you get tired, take a break. And tomorrow you can watch the rest of them. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to come around to the side here where I can get a little closer. Whoops. I'm going to turn this around. I don't want you to see everything that's going on behind me. But let's see if I can't show you some more things up close. Now, let me see if I can get this right. Okay, I believe I can get this. This just happened to be a tray of, well, there's two, three necklaces and the rest is uh, are brooches. Now, these are just a few brooches that I happen to keep. Some of them, I did not want to use them for other projects. But so you can get an idea of the kind of, whoo, kind of expected that to happen, but that's okay. I have to refix it anyway. But I wanted to show you this bracelet. Can you see this bracelet? Isn't that a beauty? That came from an estate sale and I've got earrings that match and I think I've got a necklace that matches. So you see, this is just a sample of some of the things. Look at this blue brooch. Well, let's see which way I'm going now, right here. See this blue brooch? Isn't that a beauty? Oh, I just love it. And uh, I think like there were a couple more pins I wanted to show you. Oh, here's two I wanted to show you. I'm going to just set them aside. Here's my little shamrock. See my little shamrock? The lady went all the way to Ireland. Friend I worked with. She went to Ireland and little did I know that she was going to buy something for me. And this is what she bought me. Brought this back from Ireland. But you know what was so funny? Was when I looked on the back. Now, most of what you see here does not have uh, designer names on it. That doesn't matter to me. If it's pretty, it's pretty. And I looked on the back to see what the said on the back. And it said, made in Japan. And I thought, oh, my friend, she's one of those ladies that she probably didn't look. And when she bought it, she would have died a thousand deaths if she knew she was bringing something back to me made in Japan that was in, from Ireland. So I get a kick out of that. I like that little pin for that reason alone. Now I'm gonna go back about 40, let me see, about 40 years. See this little Dragonfly. Well, let's see if I can put it up. Okay. Can you see it on my blouse? Let me get hold of it where I don't see it in my fingers so much. All right. This is just a pretty little... One of those you dry, buy in any department store. But it belonged to my oldest sister. And I liked it, so she gave it to me. And I used to always wear it right here, right here on my shoulder when I wore my black wool dress. 
So this is definitely a keepsake. I'm going to lay this aside, put it over here on a box. Now, this to me is one of the prettiest pieces I have. It doesn't look that pretty to you, but if you look at it up close, this is a beautiful necklace. Here we go. Can you see it? Let me see if I can get the pieces in the right place. I'm going to turn it on around. I can't really get in a position where you can see my neck. But I want you to see what this looks like. See what beautiful piece of jewelry that is. And you look, those green beads and the copper, they're kind of between gold and copper. But I think this is just a beautiful necklace. That I like. And this one as well, especially if you're wearing shades of brown this makes a beautiful piece of jewelry. Close up. There you go. It's a very nice piece of jewelry. Again, I keep liking this one better than that one and that one better than this one. So here we go. Let's turn it around. See if I can get this on the, my dish. There we go. Look it back a little bit. This is my Fostoria. Now take a look at this. Here's one. Oh, I made this necklace too. Thing about this is I think the beads have faded because this was a chartreuse. Chartreuse green. See those three big beads? The chartreuse. And then you've got your aqua. And they looked so pretty together. I made that one. I think this is gorgeous. Say that a lot, don't I? But you have to admit them, right? This doesn't go on here. Have you got you something to drink yet? Okay. Let's see what we've got here. How do you like that? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I like it. I'm gonna pull my little stand over here. Pull it around. Now tell me what you think. Doesn't that look like John Crawford? Loretta Young, yeah, I think so. Marlena Dietrich, these are this kind of jewelry they move, wore in their movies. There's a lot more of this in here. Now look here. Here's where you're. Mm, Borealis comes in and I've twisted a necklace around it. I think. Let's see what I've done. See, this is where the problem lies. It's all get twisted. You can't get it separated. 
I take a look at this. You have to have the fight just right. I give him a good look at that. See how it sparkles. I think this is a beautiful color. So this whole dish is filled with all of this beautiful turquoise jewelry. All kinds of things down in here. But of course, this one's my favorite right here. Yeah, I just love that. All right, we've got a lot of beads sitting around that too. Now, where else do we want to go? This is an old one I've already taken apart. I took two of the flowers off of it. I don't know if I can get it around the How it put together. Oh, here we go. I want you to see how this looks. If I can find out how to put it on. It's not working. Not gonna work. Because I can't get the beads turned around. Now. There we go. What do you think? See, I, I took two, two of the beads off because I wanted to use them for something. But still, I've got three more left that I can decorate with. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. Yes. I've got a little bowl of rhinestones as you can see this is a belt i've got now this is just a portion of what i've got gloss it is really heavy where did i get this at Here's your Aurora Borealis. You talk about lighting up the night. I just love to have some place to go to wear this. I want you to get a good look. Look at those, how those sparkle. These aren't quite straightened out the way they should be, but you can still see how pretty they are. They need to be straightened out some, so I don't have them exactly right. But you get the idea. You can see how beautiful these are and how great they would look. Don't you like that? Mm, I think it's gorgeous. So you take a good look at that. And be like I. And dream about it. Dream when they used to wear these things. Oh, I can see Grace Kelly in something like this. And I can see a few other... Olivia de Havilland and Joan Fontaine. Oh, there are lots of beautiful movie stars that wore jewelry like this. And their brooches were just, let's just say you'd steal for them. This bowl, it's got a few of these. Well, I'd say it's got more than a few. I've got a 
shoebox full of them somewhere. You know, when you put things in shoebox, you never know, you never will find them because you don't remember what you put in those shoeboxes. But can you see all this? Oh, look at these. Take a good look, folks. When a bunch of little girls just love to get their hands on these things. And they even got the prisms. Got a few prisms. Well, here are the big prisms. See these? I have used them in some shadow boxes. But I really don't like to. I like to save these things for my chandeliers. See this prism here? These prisms made like this. And I did do a shadow box with prisms. I made a, a flower vase. And the vase itself was made out of prisms. So take a look at this. Look and weep. How about that? No point in taking any more out. I'll just drop them. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Okay. Time to go dancing. You know, I used to dance. Loved going dancing. Loved ballroom dancing. And I could do the cha-cha-cha. And I could do the polka. And I can't remember what else. Well, just ballroom dancing itself was good enough. So, there's one of my, my, glass beads. These aren't the Boreal. These are just the glass beads. Okay. Oh goodness, I thought I was finished. I'm not finished. But I will be soon. So you just hang in there. I'll move one or two more things around. And I like this. Look at this. Isn't this unusual? This is a short necklace. You gotta have a short neck to wear this. But isn't that a cute little? It's a pale, pale, pale green. Now last and least, well not least, let's get over here. Here's a bowl of mix match. Just a little of this and a little of that. I love this. How's that? Isn't that pretty? It's kind of a choker necklace. Now, here you go. Look at this Borealis. This is gorgeous. Come on. Let's get around there so that you can... So the pit. Now, you know you couldn't pass that up. And it's got a beautiful clasp. I want you to see the clasp. Can you see that? It's hard to find clasp like that. And if you do, if you're into making jewelry... You're going to spend a lot of money just for a beautiful class because without them, your piece of jewelry is just not finished. So anyway, let's see what else. Oh, I know there's some more things here. Yeah, here's one I made. See, it's made in browns. Needed something to wear with winter brown. 
Um, seemed like there was some more red ones somewhere, and I don't know what I did with them. Okay, here's another one. This is just an old necklace. Time period would have been 40s and 50s. There you go. See how pretty that is. Let's see what else is in here. That might be different. Not too much. Just go round and round. Yeah, here's more. Here's your, more of your Borealis. These are nice. Well, take a look. Let's take that off. There again. Got the green necklace. Now, here's one that's a little different. This would be in the 50s. We wore a lot of these. See how nice that is. Kind of hard to tell the color. There you go. It's a beautiful necklace. Oh, and I made this one. Yeah, you got to look at this one. I made it. I'll bring it up close where you can see it real good. See those kind of gold glistening. See? Um, okay. That's one I made. I don't know. I made this one. And you know, this this works so well in the summertime. You'd be surprised how many things you put on that this little orange olive or uh, avocado green, see the pretty green in the center. And I also made a bracelet and gave it away. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, I made this one too. Yeah, y'all are going to get out tired of hearing me say that, aren't you? But I don't make them anymore, and I don't want to make them anymore. And I don't, I never did get into the metal and carving and cutting. I didn't know how to do that, and it takes a lot of tools. So, let's get a little closer. That's... Those are mixed beads. Okay. You can do the same thing, you know. I like this one. See, it's just a good everyday necklace. I put these in here because they were, it's a mixture of just a lot of things. This is a yellow one. Jan's got a couple of my yellow ones that she wears, and they really look nice. And yeah, here's another yellow. See how these power on? I put a lot more than this, you know. Not bragging. I just can't find it. I don't know what I've done with it. I think this is just about going to do it. Oh, and I think this is a beautiful necklace. These are all glass beads. That's no plastics. They're all glass. Well, but I'm telling you one thing, don't buy these screw-on caps because if you can get them screwed on, they twist and come off. The next thing you see is your necklace flying across the floor. Well, I'll just hold this around here since I can't get it together. 
But take a look at how pretty those beads are. I think they're really nice. See how those look. Yeah, I would, I would love to have earrings to match this outfit. And I'm not going to dig any farther. I made this one too. It's just a little glistening one. It's green. Got a little green sets. Because never did have anything in green. So I needed some necklaces. So, I'm trying to think if I've overlooked anything. I, if I have, you don't need to see it in. Yeah, here's another one. Yeah, I like these big ones too. They glisten. Oh, here's the yellow. Here's the yellow. It, and you know, I, I do think some of these glass beads have faded. I don't know how they could, but this one looked lighter yellow than it did when I first made it. And that's the clasp that I put on it. You can see it. This is a nice necklace. So anyway, you've seen enough of my clutter. I can't think of anything else to show you. But maybe one of these days, oh my gosh, you just wait till I wear this. One of these days, we'll get into earrings and bracelets. Now, you, I'm cutting my own head off. You see now what I've done? I've made a mess. But that's okay. As long as as you enjoyed what you saw. And I hope I haven't bored you to tears with it. But this is one of the things that Granny Pat has done through the years. These are the things she does to be contented. It's playing with jewelry, playing with crafts, sewing, making, making, making things. This is a beautiful necklace too, nice and sparkly. See, this neckline's a little bit low. You need something a little higher so that you can make it look pretty like that. But this is a beautiful necklace. I don't know what batch it came out of. A lot of these came from Jan, and a lot of them were mine. And this one right here happens to be would you believe an incline? But I liked it and I knew it wasn't real old, but I liked it and I liked the color. It was different. So I went in, I bought this in an antique shop. No, I don't know how long it's been around. I just know it's made by Anne Klein and it makes it a pretty necklace. Gives you a little color for your black blouse. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen, but I got one more thing to show you. And I'm glad I didn't forget it. And this was among my collection here, and I was so shocked. Take a look. Can you see them? What do you think of my sunglasses? These are old, they're not new ones. They're old sunglasses, and I just love them. They're in good shape, so once I get out in the sun this summer, I'm going to be very careful and make sure I don't lose them. But don't you think they're cute? They're made a lot like the glasses I already have. So I thought I'd show you those too, and I want to hold on to these, take care of them. I hope you had a nice Mother's Day weekend. I brought home my leftovers from lunch and I am hungry. I'm going in, I'm going to heat it up and we're going to see what's on TV tonight. 
and I'm going to sit and watch my own video and ask myself, why did I have to be so talkative? Show the jewelry and be done with it. Thank you for sticking with me through this whole thing. I hope every mother got to see her children. I hope the children got to see their mothers and their grandmothers. And I wish everyone another happy Mother's Day. And thank you for joining me. Here I am, ready to go.